So what you just saw is how I send my project files and footage to my editors using Lucidlink. But what is Lucidlink? It's a cloud storage that feels like a local drive because the transfer happens instantaneously. And I have three editors, one in Thailand, one in Los Angeles, and one in Kansas City. And we can all upload and share the same footage and the same project file from our one remote drive, our Lucidlink file space. Hey guys, how's it going? Right. Uh <laughs> so I got a setup on Lucid. It's gonna be a new replacement to our workflow so we can all access files. Jiva, I'm actually going to drop in a short right now that I just filmed inside of your folder underneath our Opus project. You should be able to see it here shortly, Jiva, if you wanna share your screen. Oh, you see it already. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even have the chance to share my screen yet. It's already up. Share the screen though. All right, so do you wanna to try to play that back right now? We haven't even downloaded this. All right. Oh. Oh, there I am. Okay. That was pretty quick. How does that work? So basically Lucid Link, it lets you stream the file directly from the cloud. So you don't even need to download it and sync it first. Okay, but how is that different from like Dropbox? Dropbox is great because I can share a file with you and like you can download that locally with Lucid. Basically you can stream it directly from the cloud without having to download it. So it's more instantaneous. What I've done here, Rickard, is I've actually dropped in a new project for you inside of your folder. Um, so okay. let's have you open that up. Let's see. Yeah, here, right? Okay, social media. That's it. it. If you could open up that project file and let's see how it plays back. Okay, I'm gonna play it. If you're just getting started in Premiere Pro, so I had you guys install the uh, Lucid Link Premiere Pro panel. See how it's uh, showing that sequence that you have open at the very top? You can choose to click that and you can pin all the clips that are inside of that sequence. So that way it's like in your local cache. When you say cache, do you mean like just Premiere's cache or? Lucid has its own local cache. So if you go to your Lucid Link app, you can go into your control panel and you can set your local cache amount. And this can be to an external SSD or it can be on just your internal drive. Now, Rickard, if you can just, you know, put an in and out point and let's just do a test export. And then okay. we can see if it starts forming on my end right away. All right. Export. Oh, I see it forming. Let's see if I can play it. If you're just getting started Ooh. in Premiere Pro. Sheesh, that was crazy. All right, so you can already see how fast this technology is, but let me share with you the benefits of Lucidlink from two different perspectives, the team lead, and the editor. If you manage a team of editors or you're a content creator like myself and you work with editors that don't work in the same room as you, then Lucidlink might be a great option for you. Here's how it works. You can download the Lucidlink desktop app and here you can create any domain you like and a file space name like howyoudoin.centralperk or we're on a break, dot Ross. These are for our friends fans out there. But in our case, I'm just going to make something simple related to video editing and Premiere Gal. Next, you can choose the location of the server that's connected to your file space. You'll want to choose a region that works well for your team. There are lots of options, and of course you can have multiple file spaces in different regions. For now, I just set one up in the EU Germany because Jiva's in Thailand and the rest of my editors are in North America. And using Germany as the host IBM server hasn't posed any connectivity issues, everything's been going well. The only issue that came up was with our editor based in LA who does have a lower internet connection speed and that did require him to meet with Lucidlink for a bit more onboarding so that way he can pin some files so that way everything played back smooth in his timeline. And you'll learn how pinning works in the next section. So once you have your file space set up, you can create any type of file structure that you like. For example, here I made a folder called users and within that folder, I have a folder for each editor. And I also have a separate recurring assets folder here with assets that we use a lot in almost all of our projects. And all my editors can read and write, meaning that they can upload 
their own content to these folders as well. So from here, I can create a user profile for each editor and I can control what permissions they have. For example, if they have read access only or read and write. I love this level of control because if one editor needs to take over a different project, I can give that editor access to that other editor's folder to go in and take over that project. And recently I was trialing out another editor in Egypt and it was so easy for me to create a new folder for them and just give them access to that folder only for the trial period. And if I no longer want an editor to access a folder, I can easily just revoke their access and they no longer can see those files. For any team lead, this level of control is just awesome. With Dropbox, however, if I was going to invite somebody to my team plan, it would charge me an additional $15 for that team member and they would be able to access everything in that folder. I just don't get that same level of control that I get in Lucidlink. I also love that I can go into these folders and projects anytime to see where my editors are at or take over a project and add some finishing touches and everything reconnects. I can go in and check out a thumbnail project as well. As long as all of our media files are in our Lucidlink file space, these files feel like they're local to my drive, yet they are global at the same time. What's super rad is the team lead can share project files with me and I can see them almost instantaneously. Once I'm logged into Gal's file space, it's here mounted on my computer like an external drive. I can open up the Premiere Pro project and upload any of my own media. So that way all the files stay connected. And Lucidlink has its own Premiere Pro panel. You can download it here from the Adobe Creative Cloud. What's super rad is that here it can show me how much of the cache that I'm using. And from the panel here, I can just pin the files that are needed in my sequence. There's no need to waste space on anything that's not being used. So now I have everything pinned to my local drive. I can also pin folders directly here from the Lucidlink file space, which is mounted on my computer. For example, the talking head shots, I can just pin this whole folder, which is important to the edit. For Premiere Pro users like us, Lucidlink also has some recommendations for smoother experiences. For example, make sure that you're using GPU accelerated playback, which I'm sure you know about from the project settings. Also make sure that your media cache is stored in an SSD, or if I'm editing a file that's currently being recorded to the drive, you need to make sure to turn on automatically refresh growing files. So that way the footage will keep being updated as it's being recorded. If you want to get the best experience using Premiere Pro with Lucidlink, I've dropped a link below on other ways you can optimize your workflow. So back inside of the Lucidlink app here, here I can always adjust my cache size and location from the app. Told you it was pretty rad. So if you edit remotely, you should definitely recommend Lucidlink to your team lead or whoever you work for, or you can set up your own editing file space and create users for your clients so they can upload the footage. If you definitely want to impress your clients, setting up your own file space is one way to do that. Now, all of this might seem like magic of some sorts, but no magic is perfect. So that's why it's important for us to discuss the pros and the cons of using Lucidlink. The pros are probably obvious, but as a team lead myself, it just gives me so much control. I'm able to control who has access to the files, manage the users, be able to transfer the files from one user to the other for somebody to take over, and I can see all the files myself so I can go in and open up any Premiere Pro project that I need and start from where my editor left off. And of course, a huge pro is the speed. So if you're working in tight deadlines, you need to send files fast, Lucidlink is the way to go. And if you're interested in trying it out, you can get a two week free trial. You can use my link right down below to go ahead and sign up. Now, it wouldn't be a complete review without talking about the cons. The biggest con for smaller budget teams would definitely be the price. To get the Lucidlink basic file space, it's $20 per terabyte per month. And if you want the faster file space, the advanced file space, like we were demoing in this video, that's $80 per terabyte per month. Now this might seem cheap for bigger budget productions, but if you're on a smaller team like myself, this is definitely more than what I'm used to paying for, for just one to two videos 
per week. With Lucidlink's higher price point, it's clear that it's not here to compete with Google Drive or Dropbox. It's just an elevated and faster experience. So what I would recommend doing is using Lucidlink for all of your current assets and your current projects you're working on. And once you're done with those current projects, you can use more archive spaces like Dropbox or a physical rated drive to offload those projects once they're complete. At least that's what we're doing right now. Overall, I think Lucidlink is a high-end service and with any high-end service, you get high-end features. If somebody told me 15 years ago that I was gonna be able to upload my video projects and share it with multiple editors around the globe, I probably wouldn't have believed them. I think it's so amazing that one project can go to an editor in Thailand to be finished up in LA, then go to Dallas, Texas, and then back to Europe, and then go live. It's so cool that I can touch all of these hands before getting published at such a fast speed. So let me know in the comments below if you think Lucidlink is a service that would be useful to you or if you have any questions at all. For now, remember to stay creative and keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Mm hmm?